Alright, so I want to talk a little bit about how to transfer files and to store them and share them and a good example I guess would be with a voice memo. Suppose you sit down to interview one of your relatives and you talk for a couple of hours. You've now got a voice memo on your phone but it's very large, maybe too large to email and certainly too large to text or something like that. So how do you get it off your phone? and get it onto a computer where it can be used and edited. So first thing you want to do if you're in an iPhone is you'll see this voice memo screen and uh, if you click on that top one which is new recording 2 what you'll see is it will expand that window here and now you see a couple of other options here to play to go back and forward to trash it but also you've got these three little dots so you want to click on those three dots and now it will bring up additional menu items so you can copy you can share edit duplicate or save but we want to share so once you click this share link you will see options to share it so you could either text it to one of these people but again it's probably too large um, in many cases this isn't a very large recording here but a lot of them will be and you're not going to see that the option I want to show you here on the screen maybe immediately you might have to scroll over but if you do you will see drive as long as you have the Google Drive app installed on your phone and linked to your Google account then you'll be able to share with that so that's the key is to make sure you have that on your phone it will now become a sharing option and you can click on that and then that will just copy this voice memo right over to your Google Drive and once there you can move it into a specific folder if you want but it's now stored in the cloud it's accessible and uh, that's that's by far the easiest way and it just takes a matter of seconds usually to move a file over uh, other things to keep in mind with Google Drive, so a lot of other files you can copy from your phone besides voice memos, photos, if you're taking a bunch of photos, really easy for you to go in and do the same thing, you click on the photo, you click on the little send or share button and you'll see Google Drive is one of those options, so click that and it will move the photo over. If you have video files, a lot of times these are really big files and you definitely can't email or text them. Uh, maybe efficiently or may even uh, go beyond the limit of what you can send so if that's the case and you've got a really large video on your phone somehow then you can share that to Google Drive and also documents you may find documents you may have sent to you or you may create documents whatever else PDF files Word documents whatever you can quickly share those um, to your Google Drive as well other things to keep in mind, there are other ways to use Google Drive, so um, sharing is one that we've talked about, so if you put something out on your Google Drive, you can share a link to somebody, you can either um, send them the link and make it so they can only view it, or you can allow them to even edit it, so um, you can control who actually sees it and what they can see. Um, you can archive your files here, of course, you can store things in the cloud, so it's a really good place to back things up and to store things where they're secure and um, if you happen to lose your computer or you know your hard drive crashes or you lose your phone or whatever else you've now got this archive out in the Google Drive cloud and you won't lose that stuff and then I found it's a really great way for collaborating a lot of times I'm working with somebody on something I'm sharing information with them they're sharing with me so we'll just create a folder there and of course you can do the exact same thing with some other applications as well um, Dropbox is one that a lot of people will use as well for collaborating and sharing and it works really just the same way but I try and keep everything in one place as much as I can and I've kind of gravitated toward Google Drive in that regard. Other things um, just noting that is worth noting is that Google Drive is always accessible it can be on your desktop computer, it could be on your laptop, it could be on your phone, and really anywhere in the world. I've traveled around the world quite a bit with my job and it's nice to be able to access my files wherever I'm at. Whatever device I'm on, I can always go in and pull this stuff up. So that's another big plus of putting your information into Google Drive. And of course it's free uh, uh, up into a certain limit and you can get a fair amount of storage for free. I purchased a small uh, for a small fee, I think 30 gigs and uh, I haven't come close to filling that up yet. Of course I don't put all my files onto Google Drive just some of the key things I'm working on but I think I've only got 15 gig out there so anyway you, you can buy space there pretty cheap if you want to do that